Hey, it's Acoustic Paint, I'm Elizabeth, and happy Inktober! If you don't know what Inktober is, it's a 31-day drawing challenge where every single day of the month of October you do a inked drawing um, based on the prompt word, and today I have some really cool Japanese ink that I'm going to be using for prompt word we're using today is Tranquil, so let's get started. So the way this works, so I've been told, is you put a little bit of water in the well down here. Oh boy, I messed that up. Anyway, you put a little water in the well down here, and then you take this, which is actually the ink, and scrape a bunch of it. I don't know if you do it like in the water or just here. You just scrape a bunch of ink, and then we've got a bamboo brush here. I think it's a bamboo brush. Just a little bit of water this time. Let's see what that makes. Okay, that made it a little darker. I think I'm gonna go to the Faber-Castell brush, just because this is a little hard to control. So let me just clean that off. Ooh, there's a lot of ink on that brush. Hmm, I'm not getting the super dark pigment that I want. I want it to be like deep black. Let me see if adding more water usually lightens it, but let's just try. Actually, that worked. Let's do that again. Okay, not really dark. But, okay, so we're gonna be working with, it looks like some pretty light pigments because it's kind of hard to get a lot of the uh, ash off of this. I just wanna get it off. Can I just like go straight with that? Ooh, if I want a dark color, I probably could just do that. Okay, it, it draws pretty fast. Let me set that aside. This box, I don't know if you can see it, I blocked it off. So let's go in with a light wash of water, not water, a light wash of the pigment. Yeah. And I just want to fill this entire box because I'm going to be doing like a lake scene almost where it's like a misty lake and I want just the background to be like an all gray color. Let me move back to the um, this brush. Ooh, yeah, that works a lot better for covering large surfaces. Oh no! No! Okay, that's fine. You can work with that. Yeah, the hairs are starting to fall off this brush. This is a pretty old brush, actually, so I'm not, I'm not entirely surprised. It's just, I don't want there to be bristles on my paper. And yes, I do know that I'm doing this a little late, or at least when you're um, seeing this, it'll be a little late. I think it'll be probably midway through October when you see this video. So I finished the background and it's dry. So I think I'm gonna mark out where I want the trees to go. I'm just gonna mark it out with the actual piece of ash so I can just kind of get the idea. Then I want it kind of up like this and the reflection will go down here. Here and a little here. Ooh, the tree, there are like shadows of trees behind these trees, so maybe if I add just a little, mm, that's too dark, that's too dark. Oh, okay, that, oh no! Ah, uh, what did I just do? Control Z, fix it, no! Oh, man, that was looking good, okay. Well, that happened, uh, can I fix it? I guess I, yeah, okay. Crisis averted, kind of.
it actually didn't take too long and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It, I think it looks really good. This is one of my first times doing a landscape and I'm just, yeah, I really like how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, eh. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button so you never miss another Inktober video or any of our videos. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. We've got some great ones coming. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye!